Hey guys, okay, so today has been pretty much a fail day of filming. So I have got something else that I'm gonna try. We're gonna try and do a Friday fun day if it kills us today. Okay, so what I've got today is a bucket full of favorites. So I thought I would do, I've never done a favorites. Well, no, I haven't done like a weekly favorites. I've done one little set of favorites when I first started my channel a couple of years ago and I haven't done one since. So we're gonna do that today. Um, we're gonna talk about a couple of products that I've been using and have been loving. So here we are. I've got a bucket full of them right here. Why don't we go ahead and start out with foundation stuffs. I have got three. Um, the first one is the Too Faced Do You. This is not full coverage as it says. It says full coverage fresh glow foundation. Um, this is really pretty on. I find myself reaching for this quite a bit. Um, not only just because it looks really pretty on my skin, it's a good shade, um, but it also just feels good going on. So I have been really liking that. I found this one at TJ Maxx for 10 bucks. Okay, um, will they ever open again? We'll never know. Okay, so next thing I've got is the CYO Long Lasting Foundation Life Proof with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. These two together, it's what I'm wearing today and it just ended up looking out, looking really, or turning out, I was gonna say, turning out really beautiful on my skin, good coverage, good shade. Um, this is almost a little too dark for me, which is weird because it's the lightest shade and you'll, um, if I ever do this base again, I'll show you, but like these two shades, um, this one is much lighter than this one. Okay, and since we're just doing face products, we'll just keep going. Um, concealer, the hydrating, the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. This one has been a favorite. I've been reaching for this constantly because it's just quick, easy, good coverage, looks good on my skin. So that's been a favorite the past, oh, since I got it, since I reviewed it. Um, this was an unexpected favorite. This is the e.l.f. Uh, Set and Prime Powder. I've been using this a lot on my under eyes to mattify that area. Um, and I feel like it's been helping my uh, cr concealer crease less. This is about like, this is like a dollar product. Okay, um, let's see, next. What shall we do? Let's go to eyes, I guess. All right, this palette, the BH Cosmetics Fairy Lights palette. This has just been so fun. I have been loving this palette. I have today on a look using these shadows. Um, I'll give you guys a close-up look. This is the same look that I was wearing in my Q&A video. If you haven't watched that, go check that one out. A lot of people seem to like that makeup look, so I tried to recreate it today, which I did successfully, but my video was completely unsuccessful. So if you guys want to see this look, how I did it with this palette, I might film it tomorrow. Um, just let me know in the comments. I may just do it anyway. But uh, yeah, let me know in the comments if you want to do that or want to see that. Okay, next thing for eyes. Mascara, this one. This was not my favorite. I, I think I have a review on this. I'm, I'm sure I do. Um, the Cover Girl Lash Blast Fusion. This was just an okay product to me, but I find myself reaching for this a lot, um, even though it's just okay because it doesn't burn my eyes and it's just a quick easy, I don't know must, no fuss, everyday mascara. Um, so I've been liking that recently. And this brow product, this is the e.l.f. Instant Brow Lift. I've been using it every single time I've done my makeup. It's just so easy. Um, and this is the shade Deep Brown. It's the perfect color for my eyebrows. Very nice. Really cheap. The only thing I don't like about it, and I know I've said this in the past, is the fat tip. I would prefer it to be a little bit skinnier, but it works really good for my eyebrows. Okay, um, let's see, next thing for eyes, I think this is the last thing for eyes, is this very cool Hard Candy Glitterazzi Eyeshadow Duo. This is a liquid shadow, liquid glitter on this side, and then liquid metallic shadow on this side. Um, I do have a, um, like a demo of this product. These are the shades. This is the liquid metallic shadow and this is the liquid glitter. This is almost like a mixture of this with just glitter in it. So it still has kind of like the look. It's almost like, yeah, it still has that pigment as a base almost. And then the glitter over top just to make it even more glittery. But I did a look with this. Um, it was a video called, Am I Too Old for Glitter or something like that. So if you guys are interested in seeing this in action and how gorgeous it looks on the eyes, you can go check that video out. Okay, so next let's talk about lips. I've got a couple of lip products. Um, this, 
was also a surprise to me. This is the new Glosstopia Ultimate Lip Shine with Hyalur Hyaluronic Acid Lip Gloss um, from Hard Candy. Did I say that already? This is the shade Prism Lit. I haven't tried any of their other shades, but this formula is so good. It's like, it's very cushiony. I'll, I'm going to go ahead and put some on because my lips are feeling kind of dry with this liquid lipstick that I got on. It's very... very gel-like. It's got a hint of a sparkle, but it's a perfect, like this shade is a perfect everyday color. Even if you're not wearing any makeup, you could wear this and it would still look beautiful. It's very glossy, very, makes your lips look really juicy, like very nice. I really like that. Um, the next thing is this Makeup Revolution lipstick in the shade Dazzle, I believe it is called. Yeah. Um, this, I always get comments about this lipstick when I wear it. Again, it's the shade Dazzle, and it is like a hot pink. Is it hot pink? I don't know. It's not really hot pink. It's almost like a light, very light, just a vibrant berry pink, but it's more on the pink side. Um, it's really beautiful, almost like a fuchsia, but not as purpley. It's really lovely. I always get comments about this lipstick. People are always asking me what it is every time I wear it on camera, so love that and it's the formula is okay like I mean it's not anything to write home about it seems like a normal uh regular lipstick formula but it's the shade that's amazing makeup revolution in the shade dazzle this was actually a free gift with purchase um so I don't know if they offer it it comes with like this little piece pops out and that's supposed to be a lip gloss but it is absolutely like chunky and like not good at all so I don't recommend that part of it but this shade is lovely all right, next thing, I guess last thing I'll talk about are tools, makeup tools. Um, my favorite sponges have been these kind, uh, or this this group of sponges. This is the, sorry, they're all dirty because I've been using them, but um, the Precision Beauty uh, three-pack sponges from Walmart. I got these, and it's $5 for this three-pack of sponges. Um, I don't know if this is like some exclusive material, but any sponge that's like this, um, I'm probably going to like it just as much. So it's not just these. I haven't tried a bunch of sponges, but I do know that this brand in particular and this, whatever material these are made of, um, have been the best, uh, sponge material that I've tried. And I, ha I haven't tried a beauty blender, like the, the actual beauty blender. I have tried the, um, Eco Tools sponge that has the flat edge on it. And then the Real Techniques expert, um, Expert blending sponge, something like that, the Real Technique sponge. And I like both of those, but they fall apart, both of them. Like they just disintegrate in my hands. It's They're terrible. These don't do that. Um, you have to work really hard. And I have, I've got a couple of gouges out of these um, just because uh, that was from my own fault. I was grabbing at them or scratching at them when I was trying to clean them or something. Um, but yeah, these, these do not fall apart. All my other sponges have fallen apart. These do not. So those are good. And a couple of other tools that I have got are this foundation brush. I This has been my favorite foundation brush. I don't hardly ever reach for anything else. This is the BH Cosmetics number three brush. It's just a flat um, kabuki brush. Very dense, but not too dense. It's just, it's perfect. Perfect density. Um, it works so good. It's been my favorite foundation brush. Now, if you get a, um, I don't know if they sell these separately. So if you get a set um, that they're going to number them. And I don't know if the numbers are always the same. So I got this in the Royal Affair brush set. I don't even know if they offer it anymore, but I will say that any BH Cosmetics brush that you get that looks like this, that's a flat top Kabuki style brush is probably going to be just as good as this one, if not the, this exact same one. It's hard to know because I don't, this says number three, but I don't know if that's the actual number of it or it's just from the set. Anyway, okay. This is the Equate Beauty, I think. Is it called Equate? I can't remember what it's called, but it's the Walmart brand of makeup brushes. It's in like a green and black package. This is the Highlight Brush, and I tried this out... I don't know, a couple weeks ago, I can't remember. Um, but it is so perfect for concealer. It is the perfect size. It is the perfect softness. It's not like, it's a highlight brush, so it's um, it's not very dense, but it blends out your concealer so perfectly. 
It's so soft. I, I love it. I love it. This is my new favorite. My last favorite was the Flower Beauty Angled Concealer Brush, I think it was called. And that one's really good, but this one's even softer, and I like it even more. And this was only $5. I can't remember how much that one was. Okay, so I think that's that for favorites for today. Um, yeah, stay tuned, you guys. I've got a couple of really fun things coming up um, as soon as my shipments get um, delivered to my house. So I'm very excited for next week and the weeks following. Um, I'm still going to be putting up videos. I know this is like a crazy time, but I'm still going to be trying to put up videos um, as much as I can. And, uh, you know, uh, if you like the content, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Um, that helps me. It helps my channel. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.